We're going to take a quick look at the Research tool, which is available in most Google Apps. To access the Research tool, we go to the Tools menu and click on Research. You'll notice a pa side pane open up along to the, to the right side of your document. And what this does is this really opens up the full Google search right inside your document. Now our topic is Martin Luther King, so let's just go ahead and type that in here. And you'll see that we get a uh, automatically get a Google search that has a lot of resources about Martin Luther King, including at the top, since it knows that this is a person, it's going to give us a lot of information about him without having to go any further. If we want to, we could filter this so we could look by things that are free to use, common core type things. So now we know that these are all things that we can freely use in a in our document. Now what's cool is is that you see that we have an image search here and we can click on that and take a look at it and it'll always open up in a web page when you do it. But as we roll down if we decide that this image is one that we really want in our web page all we have to do is just drag it over and drop it and you'll see the image appear but you'll also notice that there's a little number that shows up right next to it the number one and if I scroll down to the bottom of my page you'll notice that this starts to footnote the links to each of those page uh, each of those pictures for me which is pretty cool so let's go on down and we'll take a look Here's a Martin. Luther, here's the Wikipedia article on Martin Luther King. So we'll go to that page, and maybe we just say, "Wow, he became a civil rights activist. He led the 1955." Okay, let's just copy that because we're going to use that maybe. And I'm just going to right-click. We'll copy it. I'll come back into my. Uh, document and paste that in which is all well and good but let's say now I, I want to cite that because that's I need to be able to know where that note came from for use later on if I'm going to create a bibliography and you'll notice that in our search pane our research tool we can cite this web page right here and if I do that see the number two appears and again if we scroll down we have a nicely cited uh, footnote for that particular quote or that particular note that we just took. Um, we can also, if we want to, if we say, well, you know, I just want to kind of remember, I just want to remember this website, we can scroll down over here and we can say, um, insert the link and there it is that will just take us right to the Wikipedia article for later on so we, it's a great way that we can keep research take notes as we go through there's one other thing that I wanted to show you on here so here's a site that looks really good martinlutherking.org now when I try to go to it you'll notice that it is blocked because of violence this is a good example of the way that people misuse names and things. This is actually a site that um, looks like it's a viable site about Martin Luther King, but was actually published by a hate group who uh, publish, who puts a lot of stilted and wrong information in that site. So sometimes the filter server is our friend. So again, you have all sorts of options that we can do. The other thing you can do is we could look for quotes for Martin Luther King, and you notice that we can say, oh, here's a nice little quote, so we'll just include that, and notice it automatically puts that in there, for uh, the footnote for us. So there's a lot of things that we can do. Again, just click on that. We can just go to Images, and that way if we want another image, we say, wow, that's a good image of Martin Luther King with LBJ, so we'll click there. And all the way along, we just continue to add and it will re renumber our footnotes for us and do everything as we go. It's a great, great, great tool for students.